Okay, so let's have this problem. So in finding the solution set of these rational inequalities using these different steps, so first we need to find the critical values and in finding the critical values, so just equate this numerator and denominator to zero. So for the numerator, we have x plus 5 equals 0. Then to solve for x, transpose this positive 5. So x equals negative 5. So this is the first critical value. Then for the denominator, so 2x minus 4 equals 0. Then transpose this negative 4. So we have 2x equals positive 4. Then divide both sides by 2 to solve for x. So x equals 4 divide by 2, that's positive 2. So these are the two critical values, the negative 5 and positive 2. Then after solving for the critical values, we need to put the values in a number line. So this is the number line. And on the left side, the negative infinity. On the right side, the positive infinity. Then zero in the middle. So the first critical value is negative 5 and negative numbers on the left of 0. So let's assume this is negative 5. Then we have this positive 2. So positive numbers on the right of 0. So let's assume this is positive 2. So after placing the critical values in a number line, then we need to make a table of sign. So for the table of sign, so we have this the numerator. So x plus 5 and the denominator, that's 2x minus 4. Then we need to find a numbers to test using this format, the before. So before the first critical value, so before negative 5, so we have this negative 6. Then between, so between these two critical values, so you can have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, or 1. But since we have this 0, then we're going to use this 0 for between. Then the last one, after. So after the last critical value, so after 2, so we can have positive 3. So these are the numbers we need to test. Then put that one in a table of sign. So this is x. Starts with negative 6, negative 5. Then we have 0, then positive 2, then the last one is positive 3. Then this time we need now to substitute this value of x to find the result. And the result is either positive or negative. So for this table, it starts with the critical numbers the negative 5 and positive 2. So if x is negative 5, this equation becomes 0. And if the numerator is equal to 0, then the result is also equal to 0. Then for x equals positive 2, so this equation becomes 0. And if the denominator is equal to 0, then that equation becomes undefined or error. Then this time, for x equals negative 6, 
So if x equals negative 6, so we have this negative 6 plus 5. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. Then the answer is negative. Then for x negative 6 for this equation, so 2 times negative 6, that's negative 12. Negative 12 minus 4, that's negative 16. So the sign is also negative. Then negative, divide by negative. So when you divide the same sign, the result is positive. Then for x equals 0, so if x is 0, so this is positive 5, so the sign is positive. If x is 0, so 2 times 0, this one is 0, minus 4, so the answer is negative 4, so the sign is negative. Then positive, divide by negative, so dividing unlike sign, the answer is negative. Then for the last one, x is positive 3. So we have this 3 plus 5, that's positive 8. So the answer is positive. Then for this equation, 2 times 3, that's 6. And 6 minus 4, that's positive 2. So the answer is positive. Then divide. Positive divide by positive. This is positive. So this time, we need to focus on the result because from this given, since less than or equal to 0, so for less than or equal to 0, so we need to look for the negative result. So from the result, we have this negative and negative between these two critical values. Then, since we have this equal to, therefore, 0 is part of the solution and 0 is on negative 5. Therefore, from negative 5, we need to use the square bracket and for positive 2 we need to use the parenthesis so therefore the solution set for this rational inequalities so we have from negative 5 to positive 2